trying, and I do not think Denial is going to stop trying anytime soon. This is going to go down to the so finish. So there's still hope for me, too, then. Oh. Yes. Awkward. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're right. I don't think they're going to stop trying. I think they're, they've are they – it was weird because they almost, like, resided to defeat a week before it started when they said, you know, we're going up against Titan. we got no chance. And now all of a sudden they're – a complete 180. These guys are here to play, and they're having the time of their lives doing it. So. I, I will say something, though. I just walked by uh, both teams at the tables, and long faces over there for Denial. I hope, you know, a pistol round, something along those lines, something quick right off the bat can bring them back into it. They were really loud in that first half on cash. And they're going to they start out. Oh, sorry, go ahead. Screaming and yelling, and, you know, this pistol round could mean everything here for the duration. I mean, you know, you talk about in any case – Whichever way this piston round goes, as long as Denial's in it, you know, motivated, hyped up to be here, and in this best of three with eye by power, it could go either way. Shazam working up toward the apartments and Holden. I know you can hear me, Mr. Producer. I've got no mini map right now, so I'm going to have to reconnect. So if you want to swap it over onto the other computer just for one quick second, we'll wait for this round to conclude, though. And as I was going to say, it's. Uh, Denial, who's got all the work to do. They're a map down, and now they're going to try and find something going on right now. Ladren about to meet some form of a B-rush here as Denial is mounting up to take this site. And they're in, and look at this. Shazam's going to try and get damage done, but already shots coming in, and kills coming out for I by Power. That's a huge play right there. And that's going to do it. I by Power will get that pistol round, and... Unfortunately, I've still got the same issue, so I'm going to have to go ahead and completely reload the game. And that is exactly the way you don't want it to go if you're a Denial fan, but if you're an iBuy Power fan, that is a huge take for CT side Inferno. Picking up three kills there with Skadoodle, who's having an absolutely phenomenal land. You expect nothing less of the guy. He's a legend in many forms. And in CSGO, for him to underperform is always a, a crisis, but... For him to step it up and play, it's almost business as usual for I by Power. Picking up three kills there when the B take is on from Denial is no easy feat, but he did so right now as we have the Eco coming up mid here from Denial. They're going to be working up lane, apartments, and potentially one wrapping. Dropping out into the site. Skidoodle forced into the... Oh, and he gets taken down. It's now a three on three. They have control of the A bomb site. The bomb's going down. One is in pit with a rifle. That would be Shazam. Nap trapped over here in the A bomb site. Anger working the arch side. And, and he yeah, tags the... up. Oh man, picks wow. up two. Denial looking really good on these ecos, and they're going to get another one. That's unbelievable. I by power losing out on that round. Similar start to what we saw on uh, on uh, excuse me on cash. So great play already from Denial. And that's going to tie it up at one, and there's Anger. Are our video issues on that computer? We're good, good. yeah, I think we're fixed right, we're up. I got so my mini map. I apologize yeah. for that. So for some reason, I had to reboot CSGO. I think it was because we accidentally joined a team as uh, whitelisted spec users. So. <laughs> <coughs> what we did miss out on a bit there is Denial picking up an incredible eco round. They rushed into that A-bomb site, dropped from apartments, and picked two quick frags up on that A-bomb site, and were able to hold it. I by power caught off guard and then flanked again at Arch by Anger. And that is just, you know, those little mistakes that Denial, being the more disciplined team, I think, than I by power so far in this best of three. Adren, with a little bit of creativity, jumps across all the way across the garden and on top of the box is just inside the B site. And he might have a good angle here as they are going to come in on him. It looks like it's going to be Anger, the first one that goes in. So if he just sits tight for another couple of seconds, he should potentially pick up at least one frag on the entry and that might not be enough though but over at the a side check it out things are getting pretty aggressive now but there's a dren there it is he catches out anger that's the one we were looking for now skadoodle's gonna get two before rotating over to our toward b and a dren's still alive but nafly will eventually put him down and azk nitro heading toward the uh, banana side for the rotation shazam's gonna get swag so two on three post plant and they've got rifles in the back side of that t site Big kills by Naf and Shazam. This is huge. Nitro's got an M4 to work with. Shazam's got one more on Skadoodle. So now it's down to a two on two, but they're making plays here. Sh Shazam is just relentless as he sits back there on quad. And Nafly's oh going to get the double gosh. and pick up exactly where 
excuse me, Shazam left off, and uh, that's going to do it. So Denial narrowly escaping a back-to-back -back eco situation, and now we're sitting on 2-1. So Denial off to another great start. And they've got to make up for that lackluster side that they had on the, the terror side of cash, and, and this I tell is you how what, they're going to do it. I, I was about to interject there in the middle of that round and say, you know, amazing play by them to get into that bomb site and plant the bomb. That's enough. But to pick up a two-on-four on what was kind of an anti-eco, but they had a CZ and a rifle coming back, and now Denial's walking into this B stack. Hopefully they do not commit to the site for their sake. Side by Power seems to have read them. Skadoodle will be the first one that's there to hold the angle, but it's going to be interesting to see exactly how this goes down. Smokes are a little bit late, and now there it is. Skadoodle's down and out already. AZK is going to have to try and readdress this situation as Nafly on the entry will finally go down to Adran, who's back by the spools. And already, well, I shouldn't say Daps is still on the board, technically speaking, but it is a four-on-four. Pardon me, four on three, potentially three on three situation with his HP as low as it is. And Swag peeking out, trying to do some damage to Shazam, who can't quite find the kill that he's looking for. And now the entrance will come in from uh, from Denial. And Anger's going to find one on Swag. AZK still inside the site. He's going to catch out Shazam, but Anger's still there holding that angle. And uh, Fugly will actually end up taking him down. So it's all on Nitro to come up from Banana and try and make something of this. He's going to get daps at the very least and potentially pick up a rifle, and this is winnable. He is in a one-on-two, but Fugly's not going to have any of it, and that'll bring another round on the board for Denial. Denial, AZK there, desperately clinging to life, waiting for that flank to come in, was not able to do so in time. Good kills by both Fugly and Shazam on the round to open things up, and now you see Denial with three rounds already against I by Power, and I by Power just bought out. On the flip side, Denial will... You know, if they get another bomb plan here, we'll be able to buy for the next couple rounds if they keep winning. And if they lose, we'll have at least enough to force if they need to. And Skidoo oh, picking wow. up a huge kill on Nap. Shazam just put a bullet, looked right like right through him, but it did not land. Skidoo escapes unscathed. And yeah, once he's got that pick, Adren's going to rotate back to A in support because he knows there's a good chance that they won't continue pushing up Banana. So now we'll be back to a standard 2-3 split. And Denial is working in that direction. So a good read by I by Power right now. And Fugly inside apartments has two directly in front of him, as we can see AZK on the balcony. And Nitro down below is inside the pit. And that's a good place for him to be sitting and waiting as Adren's still sitting inside Cubby. Should be able to call if they come up middle right now. And they are just creeping. As we see Anger and Shazam looking to try and find out exactly where the I by Power players are. And if they can get just one frag on the board, it might open things up. And at least even out the round into a four-on-four four situation. Adren now is going to see that smoke come over top and land inside the arches. And that will be a clear giveaway that they're working directly toward him right now. And there's the flash. And he's going to pop out. No! He only manages to get one. Daps puts him down. And now Daps pushing through. will catch out Skadoodle as well. But Skadoodle did a shot into Shazam in the meantime. And now Nitro and Swag are going to have to hold off onto the A site. Nitro does well as he takes down Fugly, but Fugly did get one just before that, so oh, it's been pretty Daps. good trades. And Daps is running to B, and Swag is pushed all the way down Banana right. at the bottom of mid. He's going to have an open B bomb site if only he figures that out in time. Eight seconds, he's got to run and try and plant. Go, Daps, go. And, oh, and that ticked down to four. I don't think he's... Oh, just got it. barely. This is a winnable 1v2 for Daps. A huge play right there in the nick of time, and they're going to be confused and surprised by that. I'm sure Swag is probably kicking himself for leaving that available to them, and now he's going to have to rotate back, but it is a two-on-one situation for Ibai and Nitro just getting there now, and Swag going to go ahead and throw Molotov toward Emo, but Daps isn't playing there. He's actually in a spot that's not uh, not excuse me normally held in this situation, and they both walk out, oh and they both walk gosh. into an absolute slaughter. Unbelievable misplay right there, as Daps will get both of them in denial. Are again leading early on, now it's 4-1. This is similar to what we saw on Cash. Hey man, you just called it. You said that was an unorthodox spot for Daps, and both I by Power players agree. They were both looking towards Graveyard. That is, I don't even blame them. Daps. Huge sack on you to just sit there and wait that out, and that just was perfect. He got them both lined up in his spray, and that was a quick one-two punch. Denial up 4-1. I buy power on an eco. Denial looking real confident on their Inferno, and, well, what's new? No, this has been their, their home for the weekend, I guess you could say. And Anger, nice shot there onto Swag. That gives them an early advantage again this time. 
And uh, they're working with all five AKs against CZ-75s. And let's see if they can try and find a pick over at A-side now and completely open up the map. And Fugly is going to try and lurk in toward the apartment. AZK's up inside the bedroom, so he's got an opportunity to get in behind him. But, oh, AZK, if he comes out that door, he's going to have company. And Daps is going to drop inside and actually get the kill, so it didn't matter. And now they might catch Nitro, but Nitro gets the better of it. And he'll push on and into Boiler. He knows Daps is still in there. And now he gets the shot with the CZ down to 2 HP. Oh, couldn't connect on that last one, though. But he's still in a good position to at least secure the kill. And there it is. No, I take it back. Daps does work. But meanwhile, everything's going down on the B side as Denial has entered. And Shazam and Affly make quick work of everyone left over there. So 5-1 now for Denial. And again, they look super strong early on. And I hate to say it, but all they needed was those extra three rounds and things would be extremely comfortable for them. But hey, I buy did what, what they could. That was an eco that I buy power. You know, sometimes the cards just aren't, you know, the, it's just not in the cards for you, you know. It's just the fates are aligned against you and they go to their other bomb site to where you're stacked, things of that nature. Daps was caught in apartments with his pants down. They had, you know, the remainder of the CTs were in B bomb site, clattered in smoke, waiting for that terrorist team to push in, and they did, but... Denial just too sl strong, too disciplined, hitting all their shots right now, cleaning up that B-bomb site, and it's now 5-1. to one. Skadoodle was looking for that op shot on Nafly as he went toward the logs. He wasn't able to find it, and now they've both crossed over. And Oh, look at that wall spot. That's brilliant as they stack up inside and shoot over the logs from behind pillars. But not going to come any, or pardon me, nothing going to come from that. They do take Skadoodle down to 34, so that's a pretty decent start for them. Daps now is going to push all the way around onto that arch side. Dren's pushed back and is a little bit overwhelmed now. And he's got players in front of him. He does get anger, but Shazam immediately responds. And now they're inside the B site. Nitro's going to have to do something from Pit. He's got the support of his teammate AZK down just beside him. And he does pick up Nafly to start things off. So it's looking all right as it is a three-on-four situation. But the bomb is down now for Denial. And that's going to give them an opportunity to secure. But they're stuck inside the site with both Nitro and AZK there. And... I'm not sure what they're going to be able to do. Daps is going to go down immediately. Fugly is going to have to come out from apartment and take down Swag. He does so. And that means we are into a two on three. And now Shazam is going to get a kill. But Nitro makes work of him. And AZK took down Fugly just before that. So they will get another round. They will get the defuse. 5 2 going to be our score. You know, Denial's takes on both bomb sites. Uh, and this is something that everyone should know. There's nothing too fancy or flashy about them. There's no. They're not inventing anything new. This is a standard. You know, a rap that they've run against every single team they've played against on Inferno. They're smoking off Library and Arch. They're smoking off Pit from Apartments. And they're wrapping four players on that A-bomb site and lurking one in Apartments. That it's I haven't seen a team Cold Stone stop it yet. They are just so good at this point at trading and playing together that they, they look like it's some fanatic team that's just coming out of nowhere and plowing teams over. Yeah, they didn't win the, win the round. But they took it almost uncontested. Adren, the only one that was able to put up a fight. And, you know, their B takes are no different. They're just running in this default, finding out where the weaknesses are, executing a strat, and doing well all across the board in all facets, facets of basic Counter-Strike. And, and hats off to them for you know, putting on a show because this is North American Counter-Strike clean. You know, they are playing the game the way it should be played. Adren's going to get a little bit aggressive toward middle, and Shazam's going to make him pay for it. That's your entry frag. And now they can try and get inside the A site, but it's not over in that position as Swag is still hanging out in Cubby, and that's going to give him an opportunity to readdress. And Nitro at truck side is there as well, so they're in good positions. And there it is. Swag's going to pop out, but now he immediately gets taken down by Shazam in response, and Fugly inside apartments has the opportunity if he wanted to to work out as Nitro is outside of the pit. AZK from Atrium's gonna get one. Nitro gets Fugly, Daps the only one on the board, and a nice reaction shot as Fugly turns and takes down Nafly as well, and that grenade will be enough. The Pokeball kill will catch out Daps, and another success successive round, excuse me, for I by power. So they are clawing their way back into it, but already five rounds on the T side is strong for Denial. Nitro, by and large, I think, is probably the most overlooked player on I by power right now, and I say that not because he, he's necessarily playing poorly at any point during the, the matches. I just feel like he's had many of these rounds where he picks up a 2K or a 3K in quick succession and Stone Cold, you know, just drops a team that has a successful take into a site. I mean, Shazam picked up two quick kills there with the op, had entries into the A site, and Nitro was basically left alone on that lane side. Yeah, Fug Fugly didn't know. He could have came out and maybe shot Nitro in the back, 
but there's no way Fugly can know that. And Nitro just regroups, throws a co couple nice flashbangs, picks up two quick kills, and then throws a nice uh, oh, nade wow. things out. Swag coming up with a nice three or probably 2k entry right there and does enough damage that Adren's going to have an easy time mopping up the rest, but Anger did take him down before Nitro got there and bailed him out on that final frag. So I buy power now within one and looking pretty poised on the CT side as money is heavily in their favor and the C the, pardon me, the T's will have to win this one if they have any hope to potentially not save on the next round. Right. And as, as terrorists on this map, you don't you hope it's a pipe dream at this point to, to really stack money. There's no building a bank because it's a counter-terrorist counter sided map and generally speaking, you're going to lose a lot of players just in general trying to take bomb sites. You know, you're never going to have an op every time you have a gun round. So for Denial, it's not that big of a deal. They already have their five rounds. They're just trying to wear I by power down. So it's good on those save rounds to pick up as many kills as they can. Skadoodle picking one on the nap. And exercising. See, they don't they don't necessarily have the deepest inventory right now, but they have enough nades to execute on a site. It's not they don't have Molotovs for Cubby or anything like that. But they can execute with these four rifles. Still some aggression going on at the bottom of Banana and AZK boosted up on top of Atrium. Should have an opportunity when they rush out of Boiler. And they're actually pretty much all there now. Adren, as you can see over toward Cubby, has Skadoodle supporting him. And Nitro's pushed out of the pit. So they've got all their attention headed in that direction. And if Denial's not wise, they'll walk right into a slaughter. But they've slowly worked back to B in the meantime. And Swag's going to get taken down by Anger. And now they've got open for business the B bomb site as Adren is trying as fast as he possibly can to get back over there, and he does actually, he's inside the site, so there's an opportunity for him to try and hold this as they all rotate in that direction now, and he's gonna try and sit there. He manages to take down Shazam. There's a double on Anger, but Fugly's gonna respond, and now he's in a 1v2. He does have the bomb to work with. Pushes through the smoke, catches Nitro out, but Nitro manages to switch back from the grenade to his pistol and get the frag somehow, and that's gonna make us a tie game here. Five to five, I buy power back in it. Miscues by denial there. Uh, you don't often, as a counter-terrorist, just happen to find three terrorists with their back to you or a bomb out. Adren, very fortunate in that B-bomb side. He was not completely set up. He was coming on that rotate. They hit him at the right time, smoked off CT and spools, and Adren just at first oranges, able to pick up those kills. You know, excellent play by him, but Denial just a little off-key there. Someone not clearing the spot that they probably should have as they are on an eco working towards these apartments. Daps with an inventory enough to perhaps smoke and flash these guys out of here. The interesting thing is that Nitro's got 11 frags. I didn't realize that. I just caught that now. And he's playing all the way back by pit, and he hasn't seen a lot of action, so it's an adaptive pit. And that's one thing I said that Shroud for C9 wasn't doing. He was playing good from in this position as they come in on Nitro. There's one, but Fugly's going to respond. I'll get back to my point in a minute as Adren's going to go ahead and pick up one more. Now Nafli tries to find one on AZK, but now he's got a double. So a great play by him, and there it is, a triple for him as he takes down Anger. And that's another round for I by power relatively easily against the pistols, mind you. But my point is that Shroud sat in the pit and never left. Nitro's sitting in the pit, and he's quick with his rotations. He's helping out in middle, and look at him. He's leading the frags because of it, and he's up to 12 now as he got one more on the entry there. Well, you see who he's paired up with, the veteran AZK, probably calling a lot of those shots and the setups for how they're going to run their CT side. And, you know, sometimes you see AZK sitting under the porch. Sometimes you see him in pit, doubled up with Nitro, and it's just the little bits of chemistry. I mean, you can have natural teamwork with players, but that's something that you got to build, and that's trust because Nitro, a new player, probably has a lot of respect for AZK, probably knows that AZK is going to teach, coach, and mentor him and mold him, really, into a, into a player that can effectively play these games against Nile and, and frag out. And he's going to fall back inside pit, and Bugley's going to slowly creep up along the apartments, and that smoke's going to give them away, but it should block off that line of sight. And Skadoodle's getting overwhelmed, though, back inside toward library. Manages to catch out Daps as he comes around, and he will have to continue to fall back inside the site. Nafli gets one, but Skadoodle from this angle is pushed back, and it's not going to matter. You can't intimidate Skadoodle, and he will take down Nafli, so the bomb is down, and Skadoodle still alive inside the site. is always a threat as he tries to pop up, and there's the 3K for him on to Anger, and Nitro will close it out from the pit, so I buy power. It took them a little while to come alive on Cash, and on Inferno it looks the same, but they are firing on all cylinders now. Now, I just wanted to state something for the record. I think Skadoodle is a very good opper. I think he's the best in North America. I also think Shazam is a very good opper. Yep. 
But one tool that I buy power has at their disposal that C9 does not is an elite opper that can absolutely explode rounds for you. And Skadoodle has done it time and again in this best of three and pretty much every best of three that they've had against any team here in this tournament. This guy's on fire and unorthodox There's a case. style, but most of the elite oppers have that, you know? We didn't get to cast it, but in the last matchup, you potentially saw the two best oppers in the world as Kenny S and Skadoodle went head-to-head, -head. and even the European players might agree. And look at that, another one up close on Shazam, another one on Nafly, and he's on fire right now. When this happens, similar to Kenny S, he can carry his team, and he's doing that right now in the last two rounds as now Denial forced to fall back again inside Banana, and now will readdress things over at A, but AZK and Nitro are both still over there. Like you said, they're paired up. Maverick and Goose right now, and <laughs> Did you just make a top I, gun reference I just made a Top Gun reference on stream. My favorite movie, AZK gets fugly. Look at the truck side. AZK is going to get anger, and there it is. Nitro, the dynamic duo, will pop out and take down Daps, and that's going to make Negative it 8 Negative Ghost five Rider now. pattern is full. Oh, well played. Oh, well God, played. this ruined the stream. Everyone tune out. Nothing but Top Gun references from here on out. I feel the need. The, the need, need for, for speed. speed. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're done. I promise. Uh, speak for yourself. All right, well, that's fine. So another save forced out for Denial right now, and Skadoodle is going to hold on to that op again. And as per custom, he's heading down into Banana. Nafly might just walk up, unfortunately, and get picked off. And they're not even putting a lot of presence there. Of course, with pistols, there's not much they can do, but no rushes right now. As AZK and Nitro are back over at A, the only ones there right now. But Adren's on his horse trying to rotate back across. Due to the lack of commitment on the uh, Denial side, they'll get there. But as I say that, Denial's still lurking around in middle and considering the possibility of readdressing at Banana now. And Swag's behind the car. He should know that they're going to be here. That smoke is out, so we'll see if he can at least make a call as soon as they try and come in. And they're boosting up above. Their Nafly was trying to get someone up there to look over top. And here they come. They're going to get in beside the pillars, so they're not even going to peek on their way up Banana. Nice strafe jump around. I think that was Nafly to get in there. And now Swag is forced all the way back, but Skadoodle's here as well, so keep an eye on that as Swag will get one and make it now two. Skadoodles inside the smoke, manages to get a third. He's going to jump out, and that's a fourth with the CZ75, a fourth for uh, I buy power to each, I should say, not a fourth for Skadoodle. And it's all on Fugly right now as he's going to be forced back and out of the sight, and I buy power with eight back-to-back -back rounds, make it nine to five as we head into the close of the first half. It is never good news on an eco round when you're thankful to get one frag. Thankfully, Fugly picked one up for that denial side and fruitless efforts on that B take. I I said it before, I'll say it again. Skadoodle's heating up and so is the rest of I by Power. When you have someone in your team step up and just kind of steal games like that for you, it seems to lift everyone's spirits and, and that is one thing that denial needs right now from one of their players to bring this back to maybe a 9-6. Either way, still five rounds, respectable half. Uh, but the way it started out, you definitely hope for a better result. Oh, good damage dealt to Anger right there from Swag. And that need is going to do it. That's going to take down Anger. So an early advantage again from I buy Power. Swag showing off how he can be so aggressive when he wants to be and just push forward. And he does a little bit of damage to Shazam that time as well. Denial has absolutely not much to work with because when they've given up this much of Banana, they're pretty much stuck in middle. And that's going to be the exact case right now. The bomb's still up. It's in the hands of Nafly. And again, they haven't made much commitment. Nitro's inside apartments. Nafly actually does manage to take down Swag. So finally, they do open things up at Banana. And as a result, they will rotate back around. That's how confident they were in Swag. They completely left Banana. And Skadoodle went over to support A. But now we're in an even situation. Four on four. Daps has pushed up a decently far inside middle right now as he's rotating around on the truck side. And if he can find out that there's three players there, that's a good opportunity for them to push into side B. Of course, it's Skadoodle over there, so don't count on that being an easy-sided uh, situation for Denial. Entering the Lion's Den at B are Naf, Fugly, and Shazam. Skadoodle here to make a play. There's one. Shazam, though, answers, and maybe this is what they need. Now in a 2v3, this is a huge round. Steal this momentum back from I-Buy Power. The bomb goes down in B. 
So a Dren on the rotation as they all come across, and AZK's with him, and up from an Ana will come Nitro, so a little bit different on his rotation. You don't always see that position. Shazam's gonna take down a Dren with the option out to two on two, but Nitro immediately gets both of them as he gets inside the site. This guy is on right now. This is the best I've seen him play all weekend, and there it is. Nine straight rounds, 10-5 gonna be your halftime score, and I'm not quite convinced that Denial has done enough to make it happen for them on the CT side. Now that said, their CT being so passive, I think it was, I take this back, I think it was 10-5 against Titan, and it was so frustrating that Kenny S couldn't do anything. We'll see if it works, but a little more aggressive is we I by power. We will see. I, you know, I, like I said, the way it started off, 5-1 in Denial's favor. Like cash. The end result, you 11, know. 11-4 and half, and then. That's right. You, you definitely hope for more for them, and this isn't because necessarily we're rooting for Denial, but when you, when you have an expectation Sometimes the beginning results can skew that. You know, maybe they were hoping for five rounds starting out, but then you lose nine straight. It's a little different. You feel a little different, and, and you know, I, I got to hand it to them. I buy power, playing lights out for the rest of that CT half, and as soon as Skidoodle got an op in his hands, that was phenomenal plays left and right. Nitro picking up a couple huge rounds himself, but all across the board, I buy power is coming into form and this is either really good news for them moving into the next best of three that they're going to play or simply just bad news for denial because this is a tough spot to be in you're already down a map this ct pistol will make or break this matchup so we'll see how they choose to play it see how disciplined they can stay with that default strategy that's been working so well for them and I, my power is going to want to get this and secure a 13-5 lead as early as possible. So this pistol, crucial for both aspects. But Denial is banking on it to try and get inside this matchup. And it looks like they're going to send four toward middle right now with flashes. So we'll see if that's going to make any difference. Meanwhile, up alt middle comes I, by power. And with that stack, I'm pretty sure they're, no, they're, they're there after all those grenades go off. And look at this, Swag's going to head inside apartments. I'm pretty sure Shazam's hurt him, but it's a little bit too late. He may pop up and catch out AZK. He does a good amount of damage, but it's not going to be enough. And now they're going to be out in the back of apartments where Anger awaits. And still they can't find a frag. And with the smokes there, they should be able to drop down. Swag's going to get caught out. No, still no kills. As damage done all across the board. Dap sitting on 6 HP. Anger going to try and turn his attentions back toward Boiler. And that's where... Skadoodle came out and took him down, so half right. Oh, all the way over wow. in the library, fighting with Fugly. Crept up there through the arch, and AZK's gone all the way back to B. They have no idea. Yep, absolutely good call. They've sold this entirely, and that will give them a free bomb plant, but on the move is Fugly as he heads back over in that direction. It's only Nitro remaining at B, and he's done a fantastic oh, job, no. and in fact, he's going to get Shazam as well, so that's one less rotator. He's going to get Nafly <laughs> as well, and the bomb goes down. Fugly's gone back to A. They still think it's Nitro. in that direction. Nitro, this is the round of his life. This is even better than anything else we've seen, and I'm sorry, Denial, but you've just been absolutely sold, and with that bomb down for this long, it is a one-on-two, but Fugly, with very little HP, has nothing much he can ask to do here. And 10-5 is now going to turn into 11-5, potentially 13-5, and that was just brilliance from I by Power. I'll be honest, as a player, the player side of me says, I would never want to play Skidoodle when he's absolutely on his game. Because that's, oh that's a threat that you always have to watch out for. It goes into all your strat calls and your decision making as a player. And then when one other player but plays like Nitro when one other is... player plays like that, Nitro is absolutely lighting it up here with a huge 3K picking up that CZ. I don't care what you say about the CZ. If you can wield it to sway a pistol round I just like it. that, <laughs> then at the end of the day, you know, I was about to say frankly again. I'm glad I didn't. You know, Nitro was just playing out of his mind. This is exactly what I buy power needs is those new faces, both Adren and uh, Nitro, to prove that they, you know, can compete here at an international land, and, and frankly, they are. Oh, God. Nafly got one on Swag. Yeah, you said it. I heard it. The Dren's going to get pushed, uh, or pardon me, throw a Molotov that forces Daps out of that cubby, and he's going to fall back onto the arch right now. So, again, Denial not able to enter in on the site despite early aggression, and they've taken a lot of damage, but Nafly, look at that. Or, pardon me, uh, is I by Powers not able to enter on the site and taking a lot of damage. And Nafly, again, in an eco situation. Denial doing huge things right now. They got an eco in the first half. They're looking to do it now, but it's Nitro when the man is on fire. The man has got two. And it's not going to be enough. Anger is going to catch him out there from the atrium truck side. And 
Six uh, on the board now for Denial. That's two straight Ecos, three overall in the series, and yet they aren't quite in a position that it's done anything for them. So we'll see what happens now if they can claw their way back into it. Heck, they're on CT side, Inferno. It's their map. That was a huge Eco. Naf picking up three kills there, and wow, that is exactly the momentum shift you need moving into the rest of this best on three best of three so we'll see whether or not this first gun round that'll come out next round is gonna go their way and that'll be the real test but right now we have an eco couple cz's couple p250s for i by power no nades to speak of so this should be, should be a should be a straight slaughter for denial but naf already taken heavy damage and I believe that's from Apartments over at Swag. Yep, so Swag just hanging out over at A site, keeping them busy, much like we saw Nitro do in the pistol round. But the rest of his team is inside Banana, and that's probably where they're going to try and get in. But they're going to have to do it. Well, they've got a minute to work with, but reasonably soon, because otherwise they're going to catch on to the fact that there's no one else today other than Swag, and they'll rotate over. Although Swag's doing reasonably well, because Fugly's falling back. I take that back. He's getting into a position to work into construction. And here comes the entrance. Entrance. It's going to be all on Anger. And in fact, he and Fugly each pick up a frag. Now Anger's going to get another one before Fugly goes down. And a fourth, or pardon me, a third onto a Dren for him. So that's going to shut down I by power entirely, leaving only Swag, who was that player over on the B side. And Daps hangs out and waits for him to show himself. And that's going to get him the kill. So 11-7 in your right. With that eco, they're suddenly into this a lot more than I was about to give them credit for. And with that passive strategy, they got an opportunity here, absolutely. I was worried for a moment because I by power had four guys outside of the B-bomb site, granted with no equipment, just a couple CZs. But they did pick up that kill into Fugly, and there were no rotators coming from Denial because of that distraction by Swag. So maybe with a pop flash, something of that nature, they could have absolutely taken that site. Uh, but with no equipment, it wasn't going to happen. Only got one kill on the round, and now it's the first buy round coming in for my buy power. And Skadoodle only has a CZ. Yeah, and it's not like he saved that to go for an op in the next round. He's only got $800 left, so that's all he had to work with at the very start of the round as well. And Shazam, meanwhile, does have an AWP out for Denial. And I believe it was verse... Um, off the top of my head, I don't remember, but Skadoodle, last time I saw him play this map, I'm not surprised. He's been the nade guy, seemingly, on a lot of their takes. Kind of playing that support role. I imagine because he's the opera, he's not leading any rushes. And he's doing his job. Doesn't need to pick up an op when his team needs to take sights and get the bomb down. However, the bomb was left back in spawn. So he'll run back down and go get it. As and Daps gets overwhelmed, meanwhile, at A site. Pushed back in deep from that, from that truck side. And unfortunately, they aren't going to push through on I by power side they're gonna head over toward B and that's exactly where anger and fugly are waiting and anger's got a pretty good spot back here at the quad and uh, it's a pretty typical spot I should say but it's a great one at that and now he's gonna rotate back around a garden and he's gonna try and get those entries much like he did in the last round and he's already found skadoodle and now fugly's gonna get on the board with two of his own and take down AZK but it's not gonna be enough despite that fugly goes down because Shazam on the rotation gets another one with his AWP and 11-8 now gonna be our score denial inching back into this oh so slowly but it's doing enough, and uh, if they can get it tied up, they've got all the opportunity to win this and force out season. Now, we haven't seen enough Vibe by Power on their T side yet in this, this matchup on Inferno to really call, but they're definitely favoring the B-bomb site, and if somehow Denial comes, claws their way back into this and wins this map, it's going to be because Fugly and Anger have been rock solid at that B-bomb site. They will be the heroes of this match. But, you know, I'm not going to count on any sort of fancy A takes for my buy power because they have a lot in their disposal. They're stacking up in the apartments right now. Time for Daps and Naf to shine over there on that lane side. Naf in pit. And Naf's going to see them first, and he's already spamming into that smoke. He's already got a double man. Naf fly. welcome to the game. He's been a little bit quiet by his standards over the course of this tournament, and he's looking for that 4K. There it is as he takes down a Dran, an absolutely solid play. And Naf fly showing us to the... Hasn't gone to sleep, he just hasn't had a job to do. And <laughs> when he does, he can definitely rise to the occasion. And there it is, 11-9 now our scores. Denial within two. I got to tell you, I, there was a few rounds uh, on the I buy power CT side where Nitro stepped up and held an amazing push coming out of apartments. Well, I just had the same smile on my face from NAF. So hats off to both those guys for playing outstanding on that patient rollover in pit. They are there when their team needs them. Naf just, playing in tandem with Daps. Just to point it out, I mean, if you look at frag distribution, there's actually more even frags and actually three three top fraggers that are above a lot of the I buy power players, and it's all on the back of Nitro right now that they're 
doing great things. Of course, Skadoodle with those early op kills has helped them out a lot, a lot of those rounds, but Swag is only at seven, which is not that common, so. As the team game would have it, Denial is doing a little bit better in that regard. Here we go again. Fugly and Anger. And they've Awaiting got waiting the B push. They got a crossfire set up this time, which we haven't seen them do yet, so this will be interesting. It's very easy to smoke Anger out of that position, so he's gonna have to be aggressive if they choose to smoke off onto CT, and I think he's just fading back and perhaps favoring going back through construction. He's looking with that incinerator to put it out, but as soon as he does, they'll just smoke it off, and here they come. They will push in. He's gonna throw it out nonetheless, uh -huh. and immediately it is it is out and Oh, he pops out. They haven't smoked him, and he gets an easy double. I'm so surprised that just happened. That's a misplay by I by Power. And now Fugly in the back of the side is left with only three players to contest. And Shazam's already rotated around. He's got one. Here comes Daps as well. So things now looking really good for Denial. And unfortunately, Swag will catch out on Fugly. And that does give him an opportunity potentially to put the bomb down. But Daps has rotated around inside construction. And that's one more frag for him. Dren does get the bomb plant, and now it's a 2-1. I thought this was going to be easy for Denial, but they're giving him the opportunity, and he's actually going to get a second one through the smoke. But luckily, Shazam stays Great steady play. and comes over top with that CZ-75. A little bit closer than they would have liked, but 11-10 now. All right, I only have a few seconds, so I need to get this thought out quickly. This was the smartest play that I've seen Denial make all day, and I know it was a conscious one. I don't know whether they had the scouting report on I buy power or not, but that was a sneak plant from I buy power trying to smoke off the front of that fountainhead get the plant down in the smoke, and then they can push CT and wrap on construction. Anger electing not to play in the bomb site, which has not been characteristic of him all day, and electing to play outside of the site with Amali on the CT side. Absolutely brilliant play. He stopped it dead in its tracks, and they could not even get close to plant that bomb in that smoke. Yeah, and they didn't smoke him off, which I felt, felt was a little bit odd, as Shazam's already on the board with his AWP. Daps is going to go down to Swag now. And Shazam's up to two as he catches him out in response. Naf's also going to get one. See Shazam still peeking around in middle looking for the final frag. Skadoodle, though, meanwhile, is going to pick up a double as he comes back around Arch side. So he's making a case, and suddenly Fugly's all by himself. It looked so secure for Denial. But Skadoodle with that double kill, and now they will get the bomb down on the A site. So I buy power looking to get around after so long without one. It's a one point game otherwise, and Fugly is going to flash over top. And the bomb has been taking away, and AZK, there it is. An easy shot over top of the statue. That's going to make it 12-10 here. And a great play by Skadoodle at mid. Gave them that opportunity. Now, the money situation is not dire yet for Denial. So this is, you know, going to be another buy. Money still tight on the I by Power side. Not going to have a full inventory on all the players. They do have an op on Skadoodle, however. So they're just going to have rifles, a couple flashbangs on several of these players. What's interesting to note, even though they're running out of money I by Power, Denial switched up their A setup there. They were caught off guard a little. Oh, and a huge kill from Shazam opening the round on the Swag. Swag not having the greatest game here on Inferno. But they were caught off guard in an aggressive stance, and we've seen them all day playing uh, a very passive both A and B setup inside the bomb sites, almost turtling, playing a war of attrition, wearing them down, making them pay for every inch they take on this site or on this map in general. And, uh, and now we're going to see a slow B work again for my buy power. As a, well, as I say that, a few players falling back towards mid. And another crossfire. This time it's Anger inside the site, so Fugly's back towards CT. So a little bit different. Same approach, same mythology. I'm not even going to attempt that word again. That was so horrendous. But same approach and a slightly different angle for each player. Skadoodle's working in, though. Look at this, slow peeking it, trying to find something for I by Power. And he almost caught Anger rotating over toward the quad. And now he'll smoke him off and fall back and address the situation over at A with his teammates. Daps falling back all the way inside the site. Shazam forced off of the arch as well. So that means they've got an opportunity to make a play. And all they were really doing is trying to sell off because... Now they're back over at Banana, and Anger's still there. Fugly's still back at construction, Hello, and here Hello, they come Fugly. in. I don't know if they know they're there. Skadoodle's still looking for that angle. He pops out, manages to get him, but Fugly's there to respond, and AZK trades on him, so high by power do get the site. There's only seven seconds, though, and the bomb does go down. Nafly now with Shazam will have to rotate around, and inside the back of construction, they will find AZK. Naf gonna look for that angle, as is Shazam. Nitro gets him, but Nitro immediately goes down oh, to Shazam, and Daps man. coming up from Banana is gonna find a Dren, so they'll make it back to a one-point game right now. That is... And even I almost forgot about Daps. He was so <laughs> quiet and patient coming up from Banana, so 
Another round for Denial. Shazam picking up three huge retake frags. My gosh, like, I guess he picked the first kill up on Swag at the beginning of the round, but those follow-up kills were phenomenal. That construction shot through the wall, you know, when you're retaking with an op, usually you have to hold angles and just hope people make mistakes and peek, and that's exactly what Shazam got right there. And Denial able to take that round, and Fugly and Anger only able to pick up one kill while getting traded on both of them. And, well, as we see, I by Power working up alt here fast with smokes and flashes in hand. Perhaps running a Fnatic strat up through the smoke in mid. Maybe hoping to catch Shazam off guard. We'll see if it works. And they are going to try and push through that smoke, which they immediately threw out this round because they didn't want to give him another early round frag. And now they're working to my, toward Daps and Napfly, both over on truck side. And each of them, pardon me, just Daps on the board. It looked like Napfly got that second one, but they're both down now as Nitro and Swag respond, so we remain in the three on two. But I buy Powers lost so much HP, and in fact, Shazam gets another kill onto Skadoodle as that incinerary grenade takes the remainder of his health away. And now it's all on Swag, who's picked up that AWP. He does have the bomb, but... Both of the Denial players are just waiting for him to make his decision. They don't want to peek him. They're going to make this as hard as possible to try and tie up this game late on Inferno. And it's, I mean, it's all a matter of hypothetical what-ifs, but had they not collapsed on the T side and Cash, they might be looking at potentially a series, not just a map three. But it's not over yet. I buy power has that opportunity now. If Swag can make something magical right happen. Swag, no, not going to happen. Anger catches him out and... Swag is not able to get that clutch, and had he have done so, it would have been 13-11 and put an absolute nail, well, not nail in the coffin, but a, a large hampering on Denial's economy <laughs> that would have potentially put them onto the match point, so. That's one way of putting it. Tie ball game. It was a very crucial round. That was uh, very cheekily played there by Anger to hold that angle against Swag. Hashtag coin that phrase. 12-12, Denial versus I by Power. I by Power looking to close the series out. Denial looking to extend it to a third map and the pressure mounts full by from both teams. Shazam's up to 24 frags right now as well, so in the T side, pardon me, the CT side with this op, he's played a very well roll, or very good roll, a very well roll. He hasn't been playing over Banana where we've seen him play on previous matches on Inferno. He's actually sticking it out at middle right now and it's working for them, so I don't see why they should bother switching it up. As Nitro was slowly peeking up in toward Banana, trying to see what he could find out at that site, but no one's there to peek him back, and not much has changed, although Shazam slowly rotating off the site, and that means just Daps and Nafly are in a position to try and hold things, and Daps gonna go ahead and smoke it out. Shazam's rotated back around, though, but they have smoked him off, so he's not gonna be able to get that shot. And similar to last round, they're gonna try and go in here for an A-take. As Nafly on the balcony still has Daps down below, and we'll see what those two do, uh, pardon me, can do together. But they're still going over towards Shazam, who gets smoked out. He lags up on Skadoodle. He tries to repeek him with the pistol, but Nitro's there, and that's going to overwhelm them. So now they are going to head in toward the site. Daps tries to pop out, and although he does a large amount of damage, doesn't find any frags, and now Anger will finally go back into, uh, pardon me, Nitro, but Swag's already done damage as well, and it's into a four-on-two post-plant situation for I by Power with only Anger and Fugly to come around and make what they can of it. Anger's inside library, and Fugly's actually going to run away and hold on to that AK, so I imagine Todd will just stick around and see if he can get one more kill before he does the same, and Skadoodle catches him out, so that was not part of the plan at all. And Fugly's going to have to hold on tight to this AK-47. And then it'll be a 13 score for I by Power, getting that much closer to the end of this match. When you're in Shazam's position as an opera on Arch and you're getting pop flashed, you know they're coming. It's only you only got a hair of a time to react. Hair of a second rather. And you take your shot. There's nothing more heartbreaking than catching someone in the kneecap and not getting the frag. And right there, Skadoodle picking up the or I guess taking the leg shot, Shazam picking up the leg shot, and Nitro finishing him off. That was just unfortunate on Shazam's end because had he not pushed out with the pistol to try and finish off Skadoodle, he could have fall back, fell back into the site, gone to the library. Well, not necessarily library, but any other spot other than there wide in the is. open. Skadoodle opening it up on the daps, and the B-bomb site is wide open. Completely wide open. Shazam's going to be the first one to rotate back. He does have an off, but... I expect they'll smoke off CT should they decide to go in. They haven't done that yet. They're waiting. I think they're expecting, as per normal, would be a second player inside that site. But like you said, with the pistols, they are 
Trying something a little bit different, and they stacked over toward A. That bomb's still down at the bottom of Banana, so they will have to go back for that at some point. But Skadoodle's going to find Shazam now, and that should be the opportunity for them to rotate and grab that bomb and head inside the site. Fugly, the only one now remaining, does manage to get one kill on the board against AZK. But it's going to be awkward here, and Swag coming out of apartment should go down as well. So Fugly's up to two now, but three HP left, and the bomb going down on a site should put us at 14-12. So I by power are looking to close this out in two, despite Denial's best efforts. And hats off to them again. They've made it close in both of these maps, and there's still a chance they can get back into it. But unfortunately, they're not going to have a lot of money to work with when this goes on to the next round. Yeah, that's the key thing is... Denial working on a limited budget. This is really critical that Fogley saves this AK, and he should be able to. Nobody in sight potentially could run into a Dren here, but a Dren is holding at that tree, so not going to happen. Fogley going to leave with the AK and armor and a kit. Things that you need to win rounds. 14 to 12, I buy power, extending the lead, and this could be it. This is do or die for Denial. Either play for OT or play for the win, and we see the op. They're playing for the win. Just to give you an update, Veep Virtus Pro now advances into the main finals. They took down Fnatic in two straight maps, so I'm not. I, I, I had a feeling they would take Fnatic. How dare I bet against them? And I actually made my prediction for Fnatic, but somewhere deep inside my gut, I knew Virtus Pro plays well over here, and they'll get a berth in the finals. So the winner of this game will have a date with Fnatic, and. That's not exactly, I'm sure, what they were expecting, but that's how things will go, and it might be eye by power with only two more rounds. Skadoodle looking to try and make an entrance over at B site yet again. But they are going to continue to smoke that off, so nothing to be found for him right now as Nafli is also just holding back for denial on the A side where the bomb is sort of lingering out. Skadoodle still getting aggressive at Banana. And not able to find anything. There is two players there, and Anger's actually pushed up really aggressively. And another smoke grenade, you know, excuse me, another smoke grenade going out now will deter his efforts even longer. As Shazam waiting at middle will now finally get smoked off, and I by power should take that and head inside, but they're not going to do it. Shazam's going to spam away, and they're just holding on. This is patience at its finest right now as they try and find out any information that they can about their opponent. And here it is. They should actually. Get these smokes now back in toward the truck side. That'll cover off inside pit but and give them an opportunity. But running back towards B. AZK, Skadoodle, Nitro, Adren mounting up outside that B bomb site. Skadoodle working his way in, about to catch Fugly off guard. Is he, though? That flash was popped out and from his teammate. And that actually blinded him up partially here. They don't know Fugly's there, and Fugly's going to get one. And unfortunately, Anger's going to go down before he can make anything of it, as does Fugly. So now, I by power are looking to go with a three-on-three -three post plant situation. Skadoodle's op still on the board, as is Shazam's. And Shazam's rotated deep inside construction. If he can find one, there might be an opportunity for them. But Skadoodle is staring directly at him. Oh, Skadoodle just looked away. I'm not sure he knows he's there, and this could be very interesting if he doesn't make something of this immediately as Nafli comes in the main and there it is Skadoodle will get the one kill he's looking for and there it is Shazam goes down as well so now it's going to be match point for I by Power who look to close this up in two maps and uh, will move forward as we just found out to go against Fnatic and Denial with not a lot of money may have run out of luck and the Cinderella story might be over in this tournament for them. It may be over and I by Power I'm sure more than capable of at least making things interesting in a Fnatic oh, uh, lower bracket final. So if Denial cannot win this round, as we see two Mag 7s, a 5-7, and two CZ-75s on the field, this is lights out for Denial. And not without saying, but these guys have put on one heck of a show, knocking out C9 and playing two fantastic maps against I by Power. I won't write them off just yet, as we still have the rest of this round to be played. But Look at respectable Fugly. performance. Fugly pushed up with that swag seven, almost had an opportunity to use it, but it didn't come his way. And now the bomb's still sitting back toward alt middle. And if I have a power attack as they want to right now onto the A site, they should have an opportunity. As Shazam's only working with the swag seven as well. They've bought out everything they can. Not surprised. Their tournament on the line, and it's been a hell of a, a tournament for denial. But again, like you said, it's not quite over just yet. So we'll see if they can control. As a Dren with an AWP almost takes off AZK's head as he tries to shoot over to Ward Arch side. And now there's going to be trades going out as Nafli manages to go back into Nitro, but not before he could take down Daps. And 
Here comes Denial rotating over toward A, but the bomb's heading back toward Banana, so they've been sold again. Fugly, as it's going to be Fugly. Moment. Yeah, with that swag seven, he's got to play it up close, and Skadoodle's going to be the first one he finds as AZK now gets anger, and that's actually going to sell it. Even Fugly starts to rotate, but no, he won't go much further than Construction as he realizes they did come in from Banana, and that smoke will be the dead giveaway, but I Buy Power is staring match point directly in the face as Shazam and Fugly with swag sevens are going to go against I Buy Power with a post plant four on two situation, and look at Skadoodle staring in that direction, oh, missing out on that first shot, oddly enough, and he tries to adjust his angle and catch out Fugly again, and he's down to 33 HP, so there's not much going on as AZK is going to come in behind him. And that might be just enough to write him off as Swag's going to catch out Shazam. Fugly gets the frag, but only 10 HP to work with. And Fugly, do your best to have your glory, but it's not looking good for them to make anything of this. And there it is. Skadoodle will do it. And that will end the swan song, the Cinderella story for Denial. And when two straight...